Hey guys, welcome back to Shane's Getting Handy. Today we're looking at a QNAP unit with a failed hard drive bay and we're gonna see if we can't figure out what's wrong with it. So three screws to open it up and you and I are gonna look inside it for the first time. So in my particular unit, this bay is bad. Uh, it doesn't matter which drive I put in, it doesn't recognize it. It just doesn't even recognize there's a drive installed at all. I'm going to be super careful to keep these drives in order. Dust bunnies. So this thing's in need of a cleaning and I'm going to blow it out but I'll spare you guys the noise. So I've been doing a bit of research on this online. In my particular unit, the bay on the right is the one that's not functional. And uh, it oftentimes, apparently with these four bay units, is either going to be the third or fourth bay that fails. Reason being is the first two bays are always powered by default when the unit comes on. But each of these two bays have their own MOSFET right here and right here. And those MOSFET, MOSFETs are able to be commanded on by the system, whatever it so desires, I guess, as aid in a soft startup or something of that nature. But point is, presumably this MOSFET on mine is bad. And we're going to just bridge it by bridging this B4 and B3 jumpers and um, just bypass the MOSFET. Optionally, you can replace the MOSFET if you have one, if you want to order one or, and try, uh, you know, doing that. It's an option. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try bridging the MOSFET out and have it be always powered like the first two bays are. And I was kind of tempted to bridge the other one as well, but I think I'm going to try just this one first and we'll see what happens. All right, first thing, a little bit of flux. Just a tiny dab will do. Yeah, that's plenty tiny, right? Ugly but functional. That's what I'm going for. Did that work? I think it did. I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm going to have to move you out of the way and then uh, take a look, see what happened. Well, I put the cover back on, threw the drives back in, and Bay 4 works fine now. So there you go. Uh, worth a shot. Hope it helps. Give me a thumbs up. See you next time.